learning the English terms for surgical procedures is notoriously difficult. So in this video, we're going to make it easy for you. I'm going to show you how to form the medical terms and how to pronounce them correctly. Hello, my name is Jo. I'm from Specialist Language Courses. We are the world's leading medical English providers. So be sure to check out our website. We've got the perfect course for you. Now, make sure you stay to the end of the video because we have got a free gift for you. Let's begin. Let's start with a quiz. Cholecystectomy means A, incision into the gallbladder, B, removal of the gallbladder, or C, repair of the gallbladder. And the answer is B. Colonoscopy means A, incision into the colon, B, artificial opening into the colon, or C, examination of the colon using a medical microscope. And the answer is C. Laparotomy means A, removal of part of the abdomen, B, incision into the abdomen, or C, surgical repair of the abdomen. The answer is B. What other surgical procedures can you think of? Surgical procedures are usually formed with the prefix of a body part, for example, cholecyst, meaning gallbladder, plus a suffix to describe the type of procedure, for example, ectomy, removal. So let's take a look at some prefixes and suffixes. Do you know what these prefixes refer to? Here's a clue. And here are the answers. Lapero, abdomen. Hystero, uterus. Nephro, kidney. Matho or mammo, breast. Cysto, bladder. Col or colon, large bowel. And rhino, nose. And what about these suffixes? Here's some help. And here are the answers. Ectomy is the surgical removal of tissue. Plasty, moulding or surgical repair. Tommy, incision into the body. Scopy, examination using a medical microscope. Stommy, making an artificial opening into an organ or body part. And Raffi is repair by suturing. Remember, Names of surgical procedures often combine a prefix with a suffix. For example, masto, anectomy, mastectomy. Over to you. Can you use some prefixes and suffixes and make medical terms for surgical procedures? Let me know your ideas in the comments. And here are some examples. For ectomy, we have cholecystectomy, hysterectomy, appendectomy. For plasty, we have angioplasty, thoracoplasty. For tommy, we have osteotomy, laparotomy, and pilolithotomy. For scopy, we've got arthroscopy, endoscopy, and colonoscopy. For stomy, we've got colostomy, gastrostomy, and for raphi, we've got hiatus, herniography, and cystography. Can you pronounce these terms? The pronunciation of medical terms can be tricky. It's a good idea to mark the stress syllable and practice. For example, mastectomy. You say it now, mastectomy. Now listen to these terms and notice the stress syllable. Cholecystectomy. Hysterectomy. Appendectomy. Angioplasty. Thoracoplasty. Osteotomy, laparotomy, pilolithotomy, arthroscopy, endoscopy, colonoscopy, colostomy, gastrostomy, hiatus, herniography, 
Sis Dorothy. Now listen and repeat. Copy the pronunciation. Cholecystectomy. Hysterectomy. Appendectomy. Angioplasty. Thoracoplasty. Osteotomy. Laparotomy. Pilolithotomy. Arthroscopy. Endoscopy. Colonoscopy. Colostomy. Gastrostomy. Hiatus herniography. Cystography. And notice any patterns like these. Do you want to practice more pronunciation relating to surgical procedures? Then check out our course with three units dedicated to surgery, full of everything you need to know. Some of those surgical procedures were really tricky to pronounce. Which one did you find most difficult? Let me know in the comments. And congratulations for getting to the end of the video. We're going to give you a free handout. Simply write surgical in the comments below and we'll send you the link. And if you want to practice your pronunciation for more terms such as body parts, check out this video. See you in the next one. Bye. So do check out our... Let's begin today's lesson. No, we don't like that. Today's lesson, I don't. <laughs> Be sure to say to the end of the lesson, ah, video. We are the world's leading medical English provider. I'm going to do that again. I was a bit weird. <laughs> Over to you. Can you use some...